before solving the problems let us discuss the various formulas that we discussed the instantaneous voltage of the carrier wave is given by e is equal to ec 1 plus m cos omega st into cos omega ct here omega st is the signal angular frequency and omega c is the carrier frequency and omega we have omega is equal to 2 pi f now number then simplify that we got the instantaneous amplitude or instantaneous voltage not amplitude voltage is equal to ec cos omega ct plus m ec by 2 cos omega c plus omega st plus m ec by 2 cos omega c minus omega st now this frequency idana nammal upper side band nu vilichu and this is your lower side band frequency and this is the amplitude of upper side band and this is the amplitude of lower side band frequency and this is the amplitude of carrier wave and this is the angular frequency of the carrier wave okay then we have derived or we have sh just shown that the power of the carrier wave is equal to ec square by 2r and power of the signal is m square ec square by 4r here m represents the modulation index modulation index and also p total is equal to m square by 2 plus m square p signal where p total is equal to p side band plus p carrier this ps represent power in the side band ivide side band nu parayumba upper side band the power plus lower side band power aanu three formulas aanu nammal namukku important aayittu nammada memory il vendathu okay then namukku first problem solve kiya the first question was an audio signal of 1 kilohertz is used to modulate carrier of 500 kilohertz determine the side band frequency and bandwidth appo namukku given quantities adiyum eduthu edutham namukku given aayittulla or audio signal aanu audio signal frequency is given now audio signal frequency nan fs nu represent cheyyam fs so fs is equal to 1 kilohertz and modulate used to modulate a carrier wave of so this is is the frequency of audio signal and carrier wave in the frequency given on 500 kilohertz so fc fc is equal to 500 kilohertz on carrier carrier in the frequency okay determine the side band frequency so what are easy question on the current side band frequency on the upper or the upper side band frequency is fc plus fs and lower side band frequency is fc minus fs so fc plus fs on the add either 500 plus 1 5 not 1 kilohertz in the room other world a lower side band frequency in the lad is early for allow subtract either 500 minus 1 so 499 kilohertz so that's about upper side band and lower side band then what is the bandwidth so we have the bandwidth is equal to twice of the frequency of the signal so you have a lower sub band upper side band on carrier fc this is fc minus fs and this represents fc plus fs then at a color with the bandwidth so twice of two times fs room so two times one kilohertz so that will be equal to mm, 2 kilohertz so these are the solutions first question is over now the second question is a carrier wave of 500 watt is subjected to 100 uh, percentage amplitude modulation determine the power in side band power of the modulated wave okay so now we have the power and the equations on so I'm given I had a carrier wave in the power given on so that is PC PC is given to be 500 watt and it is subjected to 100 percentage modulation that is M is equal to 1 so power in side band on the modem calculate the end of the from the kind of formula P carrier is equal to EC square by 2 R and P side band is equal to M square EC square by 4R. 
so if i divide pc by ps then this will be equal to ec square by 2r by m square ec square by 4r so we can cancel the ec square ec square term also 2r um 4r um cancel here so thaale or 2 undavu so we will get p pc by ps is equal to pc by ps is equal to here you have m square by 2 so that is equal to m square by 2 so the the relation is ps is equal to half m square pc so this is denominator la nu vera appo nokku 1 by undu appo nammal kuda 2 by sorry 2 by m square aanu vera mugalilekku pogumba 2 by m square avu so ps is equal to half m square pc yeah now this equation use cheyidittu namukku problem cheyyam nammude first question la choichathu power in side band aanu so power in side band is half m square pc so solution of first question ps is equal to half into m square 1 aanu 1 square into pc pc is 500 watt so then the pagudi varum that is 250 watt second question power in power of the modulated wave now power of the modulated wave nanna p total aanu so p total will be equal to p side band plus p carrier and that will be equal to 250 plus 500 that is 750 watt so that's about the second question power of the modulated wave okay now let us solve the last question third one so the third question is an am wave is represented by v is equal to 5 into 1 plus 4 and 6 cos 2 6 2 8 0 t into sine yeah this actually this term would have ended on sine 211 2 1 1 into 10 raised to 4 volt find minimum and maximum amplitude of am wave the frequency components in the modulated wave and what is the amplitude of the each component okay so this e problem we solve it. first we consider it, uh, the instantaneous voltage in the equation no. instantaneous voltage in the equation e is equal to ec into 1 plus m cos omega st into cos omega c k so we have given our equation so it is given that the voltage v is equal to so we have a space to start v is equal to 5 into 1 plus 4.6 cos 6280 t into sin 211 into 10 raised to 4 volt now we have equation and the amplitude modulation the instantaneous e is equal to ec into 1 plus m cos omega st into cos omega ct Okay, so this question we would actually you omega c get them t good and now so omega t volts and type it with a mistake on okay now we're under the equation we're going to compare it again and can number two ec ec is given to be 5 volt modulation factor m is 0.6 or 60 percentage modulation omega s to c equal to 6 to 8 0 6 to 8 0 Omega C angular frequency of carrier is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 4 over omega C. And the difference is the cos is equal to sin. Sinusoidal waves are cos and sin. Okay. So, we have given quantities of the problem. We have to solve the problem. We have to solve the problem. We have to solve EC. EC is equal to the carrier amplitude ec is equal to 5 volt modulation factor m is equal to 0 0.6 omega s is equal to 6280 now omega s is 2 pi fs so fs frequency of signal is equal to 6280 by 2 pi now pi in the value of 6280 by 2 into 
Okay, EC into 1 plus M cos omega ST and amplitude of the AM wave. This is maximum amplitude varia. cos in the term maximum. Cos omega T. This cos term 1 now. Cos in the value 1 in the plus 1 in the minus 1 in the area and varies here. Now cos omega T plus 1 now. This e amplitude maximum. Now we amplitude get EC into 1 plus M on maximum amplitude. Cos minus 1 now in the case of minimum amplitude virum and that is EC into 1 minus M. Okay. Now we have EC in the value given on M in the value given on. So maximum amplitude this is maximum amplitude that will be equal to 5 into 1 plus 0.6 and this will be 5 into 1 minus 0.6. So, we will calculate the substitute here. So, I think this will be equal to 8 volt and this will be equal to 2 volt. Okay. So, that's about the first question. Minimum and maximum amplitudes of modulated wave. Now, second question. The frequency components in the modulated wave. Now, frequency components in the first component the carrier wave in the frequency wave Fc. That is equal to carrier omega c 336 kilohertz now another component in our upper side band fc plus fs on so 336 kilohertz plus fs fs is 1 kilohertz item heads on the 1 kilohertz on from kilohertz and now lower side band frequency fc minus fs that will be 3 minus 1 that is 3 35 kilohertz so frequency i then what is the amplitude of each component now amplitude of each component first one, one of the amplitude nam kariya carrier and amplitude ec aanu ec so edana question ivada nan varunathu ec aanu carrier wave inde amplitude m ec by 2 aanu carrier and pin nammada side band frequencies inde amplitude okay so carrier and amplitude ec that will be equal to 5 volt one one question i second amplitude of upper side band and lower side band that will be equal to m e c by 2 now m e c by 2 will be equal to 0.6 into e c is equal to 5 volt by 2 and you have to substitute this value in the calculator that will give you the value so this pin problem all are easier to them but to them this equation matra on baki just to compare here now what pin equations substitute here so that's all. Thanks.